Hi everyone, I'm Brian, I'm here for Brian Darts, and this will be my Frog Room Tour video. So let's start off down here with our newest acquisition to the collection. You can see him right there. That's right, a brand new Ufaga Pumilio. Crystal Basalt Creek. Just went away, unfortunately. I'm sorry about that, folks. But, uh, gorgeous Salt Creek. And we actually put him in the, uh, Flava of, or Flava Vitata tank. Took the Flavo out and moved him. And, uh, redid their tank a little bit. So, that's our Ofaga Pomelio Salt Creek. And we'll come back down this way and start here. So, nonetheless, this is the Flavo Vitata. Tank. Everybody seems to be out today. So I figure it's a good day to do a frog room tour. So here's our Flabo Vitata understory line in the old crystal tank. So you can see the understory enterprise Flabo. Then we have the Uranitomia Ventrumaculata, which, um, I don't know where they are right now. There he is, actually. I'm sorry. They're way in the back. Both of them are back there. Our hopeful male and female. Now we have a male they call all the time. But they are truly gorgeous little frogs. And they are still in their old tank. And right here is our new Ufaga Pumilio Cayo de Agua. And the Cayo is actually right behind that vermilion there I'm not sure the best angle to capture him on you can see him there on the side there but that's the uh, Kayo and now he's in the Anthonii tank so we switched quite a few frogs around and we'll hopefully get back to him get more he's just that pretty we have to get him on film uh, then we have the Ranatomia Imitator Intermedius. And the Intermedius is uh, deep in the back there. I'll show you him. There he is. Oh, just hopped away. Starting to hop away now. You can actually hear the vents calling at each other's low buzz. Very cool call. That's the Intermedius. And right here we have our Amerika Pepperi Abyssio. So there's the Abyssio Pepperi. And the other Pepperi is in the back there, but uh, I actually can't get him on view. He's in a bad spot. There's their tank. Uh, then we have the Ufaga Pumilio Cristobal. There's our old female in the new... One of the new males is in there. And the other guy I just saw, there he is. <laughs> How could I miss him? Gorgeous uh, color on this, uh, our, our new male, Cristobal. Uh, nice speckling, and the, this guy is even prettier. It's hard to capture him because he's in the tube. But um, And we redid their tank, so it's really, really nice. Came out pretty good. I was uh, surprised. Then we'll go right here. We have our Epidobates Trigolor Santa Isabel. Really impressed with the mushroom growth in this tank. I actually just saw it today and I thought it was really natural to say the least. But um, there's one of the tricolors in the back there. And the other guy is probably right down here below us but I cannot seem to get him on camera and I don't have any eggs at the moment uh, they haven't been breeding successfully lately I'm starting to, our female is beginning to get old so we're gonna need a new female but they're nonetheless they're really pretty and obviously uh, if there's not a good view of a frog you can always check out my other videos um, to see them so that's the tricolors then we have our Luca Malus tank. 
So there's one of the uh, Luca Melis there. Our chocolate Luke. Um, that right there is the nominal. And the other guys are actually in the hut at the moment, but that's the uh, Dentro Bay Luca Melis. Then we'll go right here and we have the Ranatomia Imitator Terrapodos. Really, really nice little imitators there. One of my favorites. Uh, definitely really bold, nice frogs. And of course, the Salt Creeks in which we showed you earlier. Um, then right here we have my Ufaga uh, Pumilio Bastamentos. And I'm unsure as to where the female and male are at the moment. Uh, they seem to be deep in the back, unfortunately, so I'm not going to be able to get the Basties on view. But I know I have plenty of videos of the Bastimentos online. Uh, so here is the uh, Ufaga Pamilio El Dorado. Uh, pretty bad view, actually, to say the least, of the female and our... Little male is usually down here on the ground, uh, but I don't see him at the moment. So, but you got a view of them, those guys there. Uh, then we have just a uh, grow out tank with one of our spare Matechos who's growing out, so nothing much to see there. Um, here is our pair of uh, powder blue Tinctorious. Really nice pair. Very happy with them. And I'll give you a view of their tank. Pretty nice. Got some a rock in there for a change, so they seem to like it. Uh, next, we have our m big cobalt tank. Starting to get big, actually. Not that big. They will be big. Um, but the cobalts are really pretty. And there's their tank, so they need to grow up quite a bit actually, so they're pretty relatively young at the moment. Then we have my Ufaga Pomilio Solarte who was calling earlier today and it seems as though he was just taunting us because I don't know where he is, but I can give you a view of his tank. Um, pretty nice grown in tank. Uh, and he's a pretty orange frog, but uh, I don't see him at the moment. But that's the Solarti. Then we'll come here and we have the Dendrobates Tinctorius Oyapak. Which everyone has seen videos of before. Oop. Scared him. There's the Oyapak and the other Oyapak, I'm not sure. Where he is, he's in there somewhere, but I can give you a pretty good view of this guy. These guys have grown. <laughs> They're really nice now. Lots of white coloration, which I'm, I'm quite happy with. Then we have my Dendrobates Tinctorius Alanis pair. Really nice frogs. Starting to get their blues in. That's our pair right there. Camera's fogging up, so I gotta get out of here. This is my favorite tank. This is our fern tank. We have like a little cavern for the frogs, but uh, these Alanis are just really stunning frogs. I'll give you a frontwards view through the glass of the Alanis. So, you'll get a view. Then we have our Dendrobates Tinctorius Old Marie. Good down there. This guy, this guy's been becoming exceedingly difficult to find, especially with the coloration that we found ours at. But um, as you can see, he's extremely bold, and he's uh, definitely one of my favorites. And here are our blue Sipalwini uh, Tinctorius. Um, these guys are breeding at the moment, and I believe are most likely in their hut. That's where they almost always are, but uh, 
Oh, there's one actually starting to come out now. Right in the back there. They're really nice frogs. I, I really like the blue sips. Really healthy, gorgeous tanks. Uh, coming down here, um, these are kind of our Shire frogs. Um, so the odds of us getting a view of any of them uh, is very slim. But I'll happily give you a view of their tank. Here's the uh, turquoise and bronze erratus. Phyllobates. Vitatus. Our breeding pair of Truncatus, which I'm really happy with. They've started breeding for us again. And the Anthonii Rio Saladillo. Uh, then I'm going to come over this way and start off with our Renatomir Summersi. And uh, give you a view of his tank starting to grow in really nice. Um, the Summersi is actually becoming a little more bolder than usual. But is hidden at the moment. I'll give you a view of their tank. And we'll come right down here. We have the Dendrobates Tinctorius Matecho. And I'll happily give you a view of the Matecho tanks. So one of the Matechos is in there. And the other guy. I believe, I'm not sure where one guy is, but I can get a view of this guy, for sure. Our male is the guy in the tube now, but um, it's the Matechos. Then right there in the hut, try to block out the, the light, can't, but really difficult to film through the glass. But um, it's actually me. Causing that. This is the um, America Trivitata Greenback under storyline. And the other guy is usually in the leaves there. Their tank is growing in really nice. Nice tank. Come up here. And we have my Ranatomia imitator Baja Hoyaga. There's one of the Bajas. We have a trio. Really nice little imitators. They're probably one of my favorite new frogs. And the third and final Baja Wayaga imitator is uh, deep in the back behind those leaves. But uh, this guy's out and about, so be able to get him on view. Really, really, really nice. Um, imitator is probably my favorite imitator. Um, then we have my Ranatomia imitator, Chizuda. And the Chizudas have been breeding for us as well. Um, one of them is actually in the crease there. I just saw him climb behind the wood. But, uh, He's back there, and I do have a video of the Chizuda's calling. But they are gorgeous frogs as well. Then we have the Renatomia Panguena Orange Lamasai. Uh, numerous <laughs> Lamasai, to say the least. Um, they're relatively shy frogs, unfortunately. Yeah. But, um,. Are very pretty. I'm trying to see if I can get one for you all on view. As you can see, we did some tank maintenance, but I do not think I will be able to get them on view. Uh, but I will be able to give you a view of the Sipulini in which you didn't get a clear view of. There's the Sip. Sipulini, and there's the other sip in the back. So that'll be a review for them. And then the Kayo is not cooperating. He is still behind there. That must be his uh, 
new favorite hiding place, but you can see him right there behind the vermilion. And that will do it for my frog room tour uh, for my brand new frogs. I uh, thank you all for watching, and I will do an update shortly. Goodbye.